Hey -o, and what is up gang? Thank you for checking out Sledgehammer TV today and if you're feeling the heat start to rise out west in the Arizona desert it's probably because NXT is coming to town to take over Phoenix and we are here to give you your official full match card preview and prediction show like nobody else does. My name is Nick Nightmare and you are watching the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show's NXT TakeOver Phoenix preview. Let's do it. All right, wrestling fans, thank you so much for joining me. Royal Rumble weekend is upon us, and we are about to set foot on the road to WrestleMania. But before that, NXT is set to take over, and Phoenix, Arizona is going to be treated to one of the finest NXT takeover cards ever assembled by Triple H and his team. Five great matches. Well, let, let me be honest. Four great matches and one match I could really give two shits about, and we'll talk about all of that here today on the preview, and I will give you guys my predictions for each and every one of these matches. Let's go to the match card screen, which is what we do during all these preview and prediction shows, and we are going to kick things off with the first match on the card, and that match is going to be Matt Riddle versus Cassius Ono. Now, Cassius Ono is a sad story to me. Cassius Ono has untapped potential. He is an unsung hero of the independent scene, and he came to NXT seemingly with a big splash, right? He returned to NXT. They didn't give him his moniker of Chris Hero. He went back to being Cassius Ono. He's got one of the worst songs in all of NXT, and he's really just been an underwhelming performer. He hasn't done anything that much to stand out until recently as he's gone this very heel way about things, and he's taking a, uh, some exception to guys like Matt Riddle showing up and guys like Keith Lee coming into town taking all the spotlight as Cassius Ono has not even been allowed any previous runs or any decent pushes as far as his tenure in NXT. So he's taking exception to these guys coming in, hogging up all the spotlight. And I kind of agree with him. Not in the case of Keith Lee, because Keith Lee is fucking awesome. But I know a lot of you guys are really high on Matt Riddle, and you've been trying to sell me on this guy, but there is just something about Matt Riddle that I just cannot get behind. I don't know if it's his his extra lazy way of coming off. I understand the whole, you know, I'm cool and laid back RVD kind of vibe he's going for, but it's almost as if he comes off like he doesn't care. And I honestly haven't seen anything in ring that has made me go, you know what? Wow. This guy is fucking amazing. I haven't seen anything like that. So I still have yet to be proven wrong with my initial assumption, which is that this guy's all hype. All hype. He probably was great on the independent scene. I wouldn't know that because he didn't come through House of Glory when he was supposed to come through and perform for, the, for them over here in New York City. And I have no reason to get behind this match whatsoever. I could care less win or lose for either one of these guys. The biggest thing I would like to see happen is that Keith Lee comes out and gets involved in some way. He's been one part of this angle that has not been added to this matchup, and he is good friends with Matt Riddle, and maybe he is going to come and get some measure of revenge on Cassius Ono for all of the shenanigans going on during NXT TV leading up to this takeover. So I expect to see that, and outside of that, I really could care less. I, I assume they're going to put Matt Riddle over in this match because that seemingly is Cassius Ono's job, to, to just stay there and put over everybody that comes through and give them a solid win. And how much of a solid win is it for Matt Riddle over a guy like Cassius Ono whose record is spotty at best? So not a very big, exciting match for me. Nothing I'm really looking that much forward to. Hopefully it kicks off the show and we could just get it over with right out the gate. You guys let me know how you feel. As always, in the comments section below, you might think I'm being too hard on Matt Riddle. Maybe you're a big Riddle guy and you want to tell me, hey, guy, you're stupid. Well, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to tell you that until I see something that impresses me, 
from Matt Riddle, I'm still very much on the fence. What I'm not on the fence about is the tag team division in NXT as we are going to get the War Raiders going up against the Undisputed Era. It doesn't matter which combination of the Undisputed Era you are going up against. These guys have consistently put on some of the best tag team matches in all of 2018 from everything they did with Mustache Mountain and everything previous to that. The War Games match was fantastic and the War Raiders here are almost prime and ready to take those championships off of the Undisputed Era. What cannot be disputed is how great this run by the Undisputed Era has been, and maybe it is time for this run to wind down, or maybe they find a way to get past these massive beasts that are the War Machine, now known as the War Raiders. I I love this match. I am so looking forward to this match. There is not one tag team championship matchup that has ever aired on an NXT that has disappointed. It has come close to, if not has been, the match of the night on more than one occasion. And you could attribute that to the way these teams understand the fundamentals of tag team wrestling. They are going to make it interesting. You are going to see some great moves. And there is an awesome story to be told. You want to talk about David versus Goliath with Finn Balor and Brock Lesnar on the docket for Sunday. This is a David versus Goliath tag team situation because the Undisputed Era is the much smaller, more agile team and they have to be smart. And no faction in the WWE right now, main roster or not, have proven to be as strategic and calculating as the Undisputed Era. And I expect them to have a plan to take down the War Raiders. And I don't think, even though they might seem that they're ready and they might be right on that cusp of that first NXT Tag Team Championship win for the War Raiders, I don't really think they are going to be prepared for whatever plan the Undisputed Era is going to put into play and pretty much take down the War Raiders. I have no reason to go against these guys. They have been nothing short of spectacular and I expect that to continue. Whether it's Fish and O'Reilly if Bobby Fish is back or whether it's Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly or Adam Cole, it doesn't matter. This is a fantastic team and they are going to come ready for war and the War Raiders better have a defensive strategy of some sort because they if they take this team lightly this match will be shorter than expected but expect this to be a burn down match of the night it's going to be fantastic the tag team division is red hot red hot and you know what else is going to be red hot is this north american Championship matchup, the one and only King Ricochet going to take on Johnny Takeover himself, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, whose run in NXT has become epic at this point. He was the perennial babyface, NXT's own version of Daniel Bryan. Everybody was always happy to see Johnny Gargano. Everybody always wanted to see him succeed. And now we have come full circle and we have this villainous Johnny Gargano. This guy that doesn't care about anything except for championships. And he has his eyes set right now on the North American Championship and King Ricochet. You want to talk about a burn him down match? This is going to be my pick for the match that is going to steal the entire show. Johnny Gargano in his history has given us more five-star quality matches than anybody on the NXT roster, and if he's in there with a talent like Ricochet, you can expect no less than that type of a performance. These guys are going to tear it up, and it's all going to add to the legacy and the prestige of the newly minted North American Championship. This is going to be one of its finest defenses that you will have ever seen, no matter who holds this thing in the past or t- in years to come, this is going to be a flagship match for the North American Championship. These two guys have the talent and the ability to burn it down, Seth Rollins style, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait, and I hope that in this instance, Johnny Gargano comes out the victor. He's always just come so close, and he's never been able to grab the gold. He's been this close on multiple occasions to an NXT World Championship. The only gold he's used to tasting is Tag Team Championship gold, but on his own, he has yet to gain anything 
And this could be his one defining moment. The one cherry on top of the career that he can add until he gets himself an NXT World Championship or called up to the main roster, whatever may happen first. But this is Gargano's moment. He is the hot hand. Ricochet will not suffer in his character or anything by taking a loss here because he is going to be losing to one of the best wrestlers in the world. And that's what I expect to see here. As the King Ricochet puts his title on the line against Johnny Takeover. And he will earn that moniker once again when we get here Saturday night to this unbelievable North American Championship match. And I'm saying it's unbelievable and it hasn't even happened yet. That's how damn good the potential for this match definitely is. And you want to talk about the potential for great matches, you have to talk about the Women's Championship, Shayna Baszler going one-on-one with Bianca Belair. The EST of NXT is still undefeated. Get it through your heads, everybody, and I don't think that's going to come to an end. With everything going on in the WWE main roster right now, I think this would be an opportune time to pass the torch from Baszler to somebody else. And Bianca Belair is a fantastic talent. She has been in the top of my favorites since coming in to NXT. Her performances are great. I'll be honest with you guys, full disclosure, at first I wasn't really feeling it when I first seen her in the Mae Young Classic and she was using her little hair whip as a weapon sort of thing, but she has won me over tremendously. Her promotional ability is fantastic. Shayna Baszler as the Queen of Spades has been spot on the perfect NXT Women's Champion, and she will be a great mountain for Bianca Belair to have to climb. And if she does remain undefeated after this and is our new NXT Women's Championship, it's going to add so much more to the NXT Championship because not only will she be defending the NXT Women's Championship, but she will be putting her undefeated streak on the line each and every time she does so. It will be something to give it just a little added extra to every single match. Every girl is not only going to be the new NXT Championship, uh, new NXT Champion rather, but will be the one to have felled Bianca Belair, especially if it is Shayna Baszler on Saturday night that she is able to best and prove that she is what she says she is, the EST of NXT. I'm looking forward to this women's matchup. It's actually one of the one of the bigger matches for me in the women's division in a long time. I felt like Shayna Baszler and Kyrie Sane was fantastic on most accounts, but it was starting to tire on me and it was starting to not you know, feel special anymore coming out of the Mae Young Classic. They built it kind of okay, but I'm looking forward to different things, and this is something that wasn't really on anybody's radar just a couple of months ago, and now here we are. And Bianca Belair is in the biggest match of her life, and I hope that she is the one to come out on top, and that's my prediction. I think Bianca Belair is going to win in shocking fashion, and then we will see Shayna Baszler brought up to the main roster, maybe show up in the Women's Royal Rumble on Sunday. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? And she could set her target on Charlotte Flair or anybody that's been involved with Ronda Rousey in that ring. It would be great. I would love to see that. I don't think there's much more that Shayna Baszler has to prove as NXT champion, and now would be the perfect time to pass the torch to somebody else and take her next step. I believe she's ready, and I think it will be great, and that's what I want to see happen in this championship matchup. Finally, the main event. Talking about championship matchups, the premier championship in all of the WWE right now is firmly planted on the shoulders of Tommaso Ciampa. And this story between he and Aleister Black has been going on now for months, even with the inclusion of Johnny Gargano as the attacker for Aleister Black. And now, seemingly, we are on a path for the reunification of DIY, a very deceitful, a very angry and bitter version of DIY. Maybe not so much for the tag team division, but we have seen the tease of a reconciliation between these old friends, only to be stopped by Candice LeRae, 
sticking her two cents in, putting her nose in where it don't belong. I know she's the wife of Johnny Takeover, but Mrs. Wrestling, please stay out of your boy's business and let him conduct it as he sees fit. It would be fantastic to see them come back together. If Johnny Gargano wins the North American Championship and then comes out to help Tommaso Ciampa defeat Aleister Black once again, and the two of them can end NXT TakeOver Phoenix in the ring with both singles championships, respectively, that's the way to go. You give it so much more of an of a, like, it leaves it with more to tell. The story will have more to tell. Aleister Black will be pissed. We can have triple threats between these three guys going into WrestleMania weekend. You can have the reunification of DIY and then maybe have Johnny Gargano stab Tommaso Ciampa in the back right in the middle of the championship match at the next takeover. There's a million things you could do. It keeps Aleister Black in this thing. If you give Aleister Black the championship tonight, I'm sorry, Saturday night at NXT TakeOver Phoenix, then he's just going to move on to a next contender or he's going to have a rematch with Tommaso or maybe we move on to the program between he and Johnny Gargano, maybe title for title, something like that, which would be interesting as well. There's so many different ways you can go about it, but I'm thinking here that Tommaso Ciampa is going to continue his reign of terror and continue as our NXT heavyweight champion and I wouldn't be surprised if Johnny Gargano has something to do with the finish before all is said and done but between these two guys what we what we have already seen has been great and I expect them to up the ante once again bring this feud to a whole nother level and this match is going to definitely definitely come through on all the expectations that you may have placed upon it because these are two of the best talents in all of the world never mind just in NXT and that is what NXT is all about they have so much tremendous talent that they could put together a five match card like this one and be viable competition and be hard for a pay-per-view like the Royal Rumble to come close to topping which is usually the case when we are talking about an NXT takeover that generally has the tendency to overshadow the main products presentation on that very same weekend. I expect that trend to continue, and this match right here is going to probably be one of the main reasons why. I still fully expect Gargano's match with Ricochet to be the match of the night, if not the tag team championships, because that usually steals the show as well in its own way. But this takeover in Phoenix, Arizona is going to be something super special, and it is not to be missed you guys thank you for joining me on our preview and prediction show for nxt takeover phoenix it's going to be a happening i hope you guys watch it and are coming back here as soon as it ends so that we could bring the hammer down as no one else does like we do here on the sledgehammer wrestling show i love NXT takeovers it makes the weekend so much more exciting and like I said generally is the best show we're gonna get on the weekend and I hate saying that because the Royal Rumble is my favorite pay-per-view and they actually put together a half decent card for this Royal Rumble this year in 2019 we are gonna talk more about that later on today guess what you're getting a bonus because later on this evening the Royal Rumble preview and prediction show will be dropping for you guys live. And to make sure you don't miss that, the best thing for you to do is hit that subscribe button right now. If you are not already one of the almost 1,200 subscribers and growing by the day that, that are just the best wrestling fans any community anywhere in the world can find. We are knowledgeable, we are smart, we are respectful, and if you cross the line, you are immediately booted the hell out of here we don't tolerate anybody's nonsense because we are all business here at the sledgehammer wrestling show and if you guys missed out on anything from this weekend it will be in the annotations up above the monday night raw go home show was absolute dog shit the smackdown live go home show was fantastic so go check out those two reviews and if you missed the debut of Bringing the Hammer Down, our new show where we bring the hammer down on anything we feel like in the world of professional wrestling. We pinpointed five ways the WWE can fix 
the Riot Squad. So if you're a big Riot Squad fan, you can go check that out. And I would love to hear if you agree with my point of view. So go check that video out right now as we have come to the conclusion of our NXT TakeOver Phoenix preview and prediction show. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed everything we did here today and then share this video with each and every one of your wrestling buddies all over the wrestling world, especially if they are super hyped and super amped like I am to be getting NXT TakeOver Phoenix this Saturday night. My name is Nick Nightmare. This is my team, Thor the Sledgehammer, the official Sledgehammer of the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show and the Wrestling God of Thunder, his tag team partner, Blue the Snowball Microphone, the World Heavyweight Champion of all the microphones in all the world, the most important member of the team, as always, is you, and I thank you once again for being here with us, as always, and don't forget to be here all weekend for the best coverage in all the professional wrestling anywhere on YouTube. That, my friends, is going to do it, and we are out of here, and we will see you later on for the Royal Rumble preview right here on your new favorite show, the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show, only on Sledgehammer TV, right here on YouTube.com. I'm so pumped. I'm ready. Let's go. Take over. Take me over. Let's do it. Uh -huh.